from the Bay to the Blue Ridge to all of our capital city greetings from Broadcast House. I'm Nathan Baca. Tonight we are finding out about the man killed in Temple Hills last night. Yesterday on Christmas Eve, 30 year old Danny Kelly was driving with his three kids and his girlfriend after a day of shopping. That's when a drive by shooting took his life. Now his family is trying to piece it all together, heartbroken over losing a father, a role model and a professional boxer. Our Evan Kozlov takes it from here. Danny Kelly's family says that he trained right here at the Bald Eagle Boxing Annex in Southwest DC, and he was good. 10-3-1 as a professional, including nine knockouts, competing in places like the Barclays Center and Maryland Live. But the family says he was more than just a boxer. He was a family man that was always there when needed. I still can't believe, still, he won't answer my call. It's crazy because I was just with him. Brian Perry is still in shock after learning of the shooting of his older cousin. He spoke with us along with his godmother, Bernadine, and his grandmother, Layla. I can't grasp it right now, but I do know that he knew we loved him and he, we knew he loved us. Police say the shooting happened on the 4400 block of St. Bartimus Road in Temple Hills just before 5 p.m. on Christmas Eve. Kelly was driving with his girlfriend and three kids. That's when police say another driver pulled up next to Kelly's car and started shooting. Detectives are looking into whether this is a possible case of road rage. He was a wonderful dad. He loved his babies. He loved his children. They lost their father, and nobody knows why. He's family. He's family, man. <laughs> also reeling is Daryl Brown, his first boxing coach and mentor. He's watched as Denny went from a 16-year-old kid to a professional. In spite of boxing, outside of boxing, you know, I loved him outside of it. If, if he would have stopped right now, if he would have just stopped and said, man, I don't want to do this no more, he still would have been my guy. As for the person that did this, Brian had a message. It really took a big piece of my heart I thought I'd never had. I swear you'd crush me. Now, police are offering $25,000 to anybody that has information on this, and the family is urging people to come forward if they know anything. You can find details on our website, WUSA9.com. In Southwest, I'm Evan Kozloff, WUSA9.